Bill Swells, a small market town in mid Wales, sits comfortably on a strategic point on the banks of the River Wye, the loveliest and probably the best salmon fishing river in the whole of Britain. Here, the main road between North and South Wales crosses the ever-changing river. The town itself is the commercial centre for a large, if sparsely populated area in the county of Powys. The rolling hills surrounding Bilth are an ideal area for sheep farming, and agriculture is the mainstay of the local economy. In experiencing the peaceful tranquility of the countryside around Bilth, it's easy to forget the bloody battles of the past. However, it was at Kilmeri, just outside the town, that Welsh resistance against the Norman conquest finally ended with the death of Prince Llewellyn. The gospel of peace was preached centuries later by John and Charles Wesley in Bilth Churchyard. And it was here at San Llewonvel Church that John Wesley married his brother Charles to Sarah Gwynne, daughter of a local squire. Indeed, it was in this area that the great Welsh Methodist revival of the 18th century started, fired by the preachings of Howell Harris, who lived down the road in Treveca. He founded, here in Bilth, one of the earliest Calvinistic Methodist or Presbyterian chapels, and he called it Alpha. And it's to this chapel, on this evening, that people of all the churches in Bilth have come together to sing their songs of praise. lovely singing. You know, we in Wales enjoy getting together for what we call a Gaman Vagani. That's a, a great festival of hymn singing. And one of the most popular tunes we sing is actually called Bilth. It's usually sung with Welsh words, but Mrs. E. M. Phillips, the wife of a, a former vicar of Bilth, actually has written some English words which we're going to sing now. Teach me to serve thee, Lord, I humbly pray. Help me the path to tread in thine own way.
Molly Cogswell attends the Catholic Church. It's actually in her garden. She's a great character and can be seen every day at the wheel of her ancient Morris Minor. Having the church so near is a great blessing, really. I open it and, and shut it every day, and I help with the sacristan work. I feel very privileged to have it there. Every day I come up here with the dog, because he is too frisky to take in the town. I couldn't manage him. I've had a lot of dogs. He's the sixth Labrador I've had. And I think if you've had a Labrador, you don't want anything else. Because they're so intelligent. And good company. And very good company. It seems to sense my mood, really. If I bit down, James's ears are back. And, you know, otherwise, he's uh, quite happy when I'm happy. <laughs> when I come up here, I, I really simply revel in the scenery. And uh, actually, the mountains do me so much good. In fact, I feel closer to God when I'm up here than when I do in the chapel. Mm -hmm. And I always have. I don't know whether it was the influence of an old master that uh, we taught us when we were quite young, um, when he said, too, though too oft I shun the chapel, here my soul may truly grapple with the deity of sanctity and light. And I think of that so often when I come up here. Being Catholic yourself, how important is uh, interdenominational contact? I think it's most important for all the churches to, to work together. We're all going the same way, and I think the more we pull together, we all are able to give each other something. And I think that is so important. And because of that, the hymn that I would like to choose is the church's one foundation, because it says everything that we need. Gareth Morgan is studying biology, geography, and communication studies for his A-level examinations. Communication studies is one of the most interesting uh, lessons I find. It basically explains life, uh, the way we communicate. And also in school we have bits of new equipment, uh, video facilities, editing, sound, lighting, and we can use those uh, to do the projects we do. 
in communication studies, making films or booklets or whatever we choose to do as part of the communication course. So how does your faith help you in your day-to-day -day life? Well, I start off in the morning by reading the Bible, reading God's Word, and I think about that and what it means, the various passages I read. Um, I spend time in prayer to God, and I bring to Him my problems and my thoughts and worries, and He somehow lifts them up and takes them off you, and uh, you're ready for the day to go forward. Do you feel a very different person uh, since you became a Christian? I feel the same me, but I feel I've got something now which is special. Um, I feel I've got something I can build my life on now. Gareth, do you find it easy to publicly proclaim your faith? No, you do get a fair amount of um, leg pulling and uh, jokes um, shouted at your face. Uh, but once you've become a Christian and you've uh, told others you're a Christian, then they accept it and they realize that uh, you ask something different and uh, they tend to uh, stop the jokes. The Christian life is a very joyful one. It's very fulfilling. And the hymn I've chosen is a very modern hymn. It's very lively with a lot of go. And uh, it, it expresses my faith. It expresses that uh, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. He's majesty. Each July, thousands of people converge on Bilth Wells to attend the Royal Welsh Show. It's one of the largest agricultural shows in Europe, and it's grown simply because of the wonderful facilities at the Royal Welsh Showground. It's been the show's permanent site now for the past 25 years, and all sorts of events take place here. Last year, Archbishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa came to preach. Amen. He preached to thousands of Christians who came here for a festival of praise organized by the Welsh Council of Churches. We're going to sing now another hymn of praise.
Anne and Wyndham Jones have a small sheep farm. These days, Wyndham concentrates mainly on rearing and training sheepdogs. Goodbye, Jill. Well, Wyndham, they, they listen to you, the dogs, yeah? Uh, yes, they... Uh, I, eat, uh, I hope they do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, watching you on one man and his dog, as I have, and today, uh, they all, uh, six of them, do you have different commands for each? Uh, yeah, I've I got uh, seven or eight sort of different, uh, different commands. Seven or eight commands with a whistle, seven or eight commands with the, with the voice. Mm. Well, how young do they have to be when you start training? Uh, well, they, they vary. Um, some start taking notice of sheep very early, but I uh, mm. prefer them to be about 11, 12 months old mm. before I really start training okay. them seriously. And then they've, uh, they've sort of grown up and uh, yes. they've got enough speed to pass the sheep. And uh, it's, uh, I find it easier to train them once uh, when they've sort of uh, grown up. They're lovely animals then, aren't they? Mm. Aren't they mm. gorgeous? Yeah. And your chapel, Hope Chapel. Uh, what an inspiring name. Well, uh, Hope is the sister chapel of Alpha. And uh, we're so few, really. We're 16 members. And we have about eight on a Sunday. I play the organ. I've played for over 30 years. And I'm afraid we're struggling. Mm. That's sad, isn't it? Really? It is, it is. Because, uh, you know, I've always gone there from a small child, and I would hate to see the doors closed. Mm. And you've paid a visit to the Holy Land. Um, that must have been a wonderful experience. Well, it affected me greatly. Um, you know, I hadn't been too well since we lost our son. And uh, it was a great, a great feeling. Mm. Especially when we were on the Sea of Galilee. I felt they stopped the boat and said a prayer. And it was, I imagined it was just as it was. Mm. Now then, uh, a hymn. A hymn. Well, Wyndham and I have chosen um, In Heavenly Love Abiding. We had this at Carl's funeral, and uh, it means a great deal to us. All the words, the words mean just what we feel. And especially um, the words, the storm may roar without me, my heart may low be laid but God is round about me, and can I be dismayed? And you know, when the hard knocks come, as they do, you've got to have something to lean on. And uh, it's been, that hymn, you know, means a great deal to us.
Rosalind Thomas is High Sheriff for the County of Powys and presently is chairing the County Council. When my husband died, near neighbours came and said to me, why don't you stand for the County Council in his place, in, in the seat, you see, for Colwyn, which is where I stand. And nobody's ever opposed me. I'm sure they've wanted to often, but I think I must have been very fearsome because I haven't been opposed. I've been very lucky to be in that position now. I've been, well, quite a number of years, actually. 23. You lost two husbands. I assume at the time that the, the world seemed to fall from beneath your feet. What I felt most was the fact that I was going to bring up two little children. The thought that they wouldn't have a father I think that affected me more than anything else at all. Yeah. It really did. And uh, I thought that they would be missing something tremendous in life. I feel very much an affinity with one parent people. I do understand how they must feel so much, you know. And, but the support that I had from the community just carried us through. That community is where everything is sprung from. Yeah, but your life is particularly about service. This is really my reason for living, is to be serving and to have this feeling of the community behind me all the time and to feel that I can do something that is worthwhile. I really felt that having the advantage of a home of my own, which I didn't have for many years, it is one way in which I tried to repay the, all the loveliness and the beauty of the community. You know, my mother always said that service was the rent we all pay for living on God's earth. I think that's the most wonderful thing to hear you say. How lovely. She, she must have been a marvellous person. Mm. And I do feel that in a way that expresses so much of what I feel myself. And that's why I've chosen the hymn in particular. Because it says, O oh Jesus, I have promised. I feel I've promised to serve him to the end. I hope I will manage to carry that through. Because the words of that hymn express everything that I really feel
Raymond Webb is the minister of Alpha Chapel. He takes a particular interest in the religious history of this area. Howell Harris was the prime mover of the great religious revival that transformed Wales in the 18th century, several years before John and Charles Wesley led the Methodist revival in England. In Trevecca, he started a remarkable religious community with 120 families. In addition to their spiritual needs, the community catered for the material welfare of its members. In fact, one could say it was the first industrial cooperative with over 60 to 70 trades represented. From 1735 to 1750, Howell Harris traveled 100 to 150 miles a week, preaching often in large open-air meetings and using his field pulpit to be seen and heard. Trevecca is still a place of pilgrimage, with many people coming to stay at the residential center in Howell Harris's old home, where they may be inspired by the legacy of the past and the beauty of their surroundings. We give thanks for the picturesque countryside of Powys and the inner peace and calm that it inspires. We give thanks for the spiritual inspiration of Howell Harris, for Trevecca and Alpha Chapel. Look down on us in mercy and lead us in the ways of righteousness. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all.